and welcome to the Saturday edition of The Box Seat. I'm Mark Warwood. Eight races at Belmont on Saturday, the last Saturday of the winter racing season. We're expecting a partly cloudy day around 23 degrees Celsius in Perth. The track to be either a good four or more likely a soft five and the rail to be at the inside position. Race number one on Saturday will jump at 1.24. It's the initial plate over a thousand metres. It's the first two-year-old race of the season. In replay, we're going to look at Nikovi's trial at Lark Hill. Is, uh, as they come into the straight now, that is Orochino goes up through the middle. Marcia Lady's being felt for in the centre. Back towards the inside of those runners there next is going to be Pam Bella and Tin Snip is at the tail. Down the straight they run on the outside. Nakovi's trying to get there, gets to the lead now. Marcia Lady's coming through. Nobel time gave it away, but going to the lead was Nakovi and Nakovi beat Mark. Simon Miller is the king of the kids in WA racing and he appears to have a very strong hand here in race number one. Going to go with number seven here, Nakovi. Paid $200,000 for this horse at the yearling sales. He won the latest of his two trials versus his stable mate, Marcia Lady. And I thought there was significant improvement as well, stepping up from the four to the 1,000 metres. Goes on top from the aforementioned number five, Marcia Lady. It's related to Lady Cosmology, the same connections and the same rider as well in William Pike. It's trialled in and around Nakovi twice. I think that is the best form reference. Staying with that form reference, number two, Tin Snip was a bit of an eye catcher in the replay trial. Comes out of that same trial, finished third in that, was finishing off quite strongly. He's just got a, a little bit of a sticky gate here. And they're gonna go with number one, downforce, inside gate, blinkers on. The trials have been okay, but the inside gate is worth its weight in gold in these type of races. My top selection in race number one, I'm gonna go with number seven, Nakovi, to beat five Marcia Lady, two Tin Snip, and one downforce. Race number two at Belmont on Saturday will jump at 2.04. It's the David Gray's Aglint Plate over 1,400 metres for the three-year-olds. The replay horse is the top one. Pagan Image winning last time out. By Crackers Galiba, Mr. Stickler. Cockney Crew had kicked two in front from Sophie Song. Pagan Image is starting to run on down the extreme outside from What About Moses. And further back is Mr. Stickler at the 200. Cockney Crew in front. Pagan Image and Sophie Song are both picking it up now nearing the 100 metre mark. It's Sophie Song in the middle for Pike under hard riding. Pagan Image on his outside. Pike lifting. Cockney Crew fights. Pagan Image dives. Pagan, Pagan Image drops back from the 1600 metres of the replay race to the 1400 minutes. I think that's quite an astute move by his trainer, Andrew Rant. I think he was slowing up in the final furlong there. You have a look at the sectionals. He was only the third fastest over the last 200 minutes. He's got the form in the book here. He will be out the back, but his sectionals home have been pretty good. I think he's a worthy favourite here, goes on top. I think the main danger here might be number four, Blackwood Rivers. Only had the, the one start. That was behind special reward at Belmont on the 16th of June. I thought that was an OK effort. He led up his recent trial under Paul Harvey and he's drawn gate two for his second race course appearance. I think he might be on the speed here and maybe the main danger. Number nine, Scenic Charm will probably lead. Uh, led in its first run last month for Julian Cocatalo and Darren McAuliffe. It was a little bit weak late, it has to be said. That was over 1,200, steps under the 1,400 here. A little bit of a query there. And then number eight, leading girl in the Cerise and White of Bob and Sandra Peters. Gets gate number one here for Grant and Alana Williams and William Pike. Did win at Northern beating Pleto. Just don't think he beat too much. It is well related, but I just think that expo exposed form rather is not particularly strong and willing to bet around her until she's proven otherwise. Top selection in race number two, we're gonna go with number one, Pagan's Image to beat four, Blackwood River, nine, Scenic Charm, and eight, Leading Girl. Race number three at Belmont on Saturday will jump at 2.44. It's the Western Race Picks Belmont Horse of the Year handicap over 1,200 metres. The replay horse can look at uh, Masquerade, finishing fourth at Larkill in a trial. The inside Masquerade, Regazzo Di Oro makes the line of five and back at the tail of the field, Star Exhibit. Regazzo Di Oro raced up quickly on the outside, Royal Star, and trying to kick through his Ocean Jewel. They head down towards the line with Missile Launch, who found something. Missile Launch, Regazzo Di Oro dived, may have got up. Race number three on Saturday does look like a two-horse war, and I'm going to go with the outside of those two which is Masquerade. Resumes having won four of his six races and his losses occurred when he was being educated as a two-year-old and then he had a little bit of hard luck in one of his three-year-old races. 
Other than that, he's unbeaten. And I just think at the end of the day, he'll be in front of Electric Light in the run. And it may well be time for Electric Light to put in a bad one. Masquerade goes on top from the obvious danger, which is number two, Electric Light. She is the Belmont horse of the year. She's won five out of her seven starts at Belmont this winter and has finished second and third in the others. She could well be unbeaten. Keeps running fantastic sectionals home. I'm just waiting for her to put a bad one in. And I think at odds on, I think I'm going to look on here with Electric Light. Bit of a gap then to number four, Mad Brad. Hasn't won for 1,294 days, but he could certainly run into a place here, dropping in grade. And then number one, the top one, Zuccaros, gets a claim, so gets much needed weight relief from Brody Kirby. I think he's been okay without being too great in his first two starts. This is, I wouldn't say necessarily easier, but there's no depth to this race whatsoever. My top selection in race number three, gonna go with number seven, Masquerade, to be two electric lights, four Mad Brad, and one Zuccaros. Race number four at Belmont on Saturday will jump at 3.24. It's the main event. It is the birthday stakes over 1,200 metres. Unfortunately, just a field of fault for this big full of quality. And we're going to have a look at a really good galloper in replay. That's Enticing Star. And also back there is that enticing star. Down the straight they run. Out in front, great shot. Chicks pick back towards the inside. Dashing up quickly the outside. Stage man now. Stage man goes to great shot who had a bit of a kick. Stage man with the momentum. Great shot kicking. Stage man on the outside. Enticing star trialled like a potential winter bottom stakes winner for mine. Uber impressive. She's won seven from seven. She resumes here looking for her eighth victory in as many starts. And quite simply, she's unopposable. Barring some kind of accident, I think she'll be winning on Saturday and winning quite easily. Goes on top from number three, Disposition. who will be having its first run for Chris Ganjemi. Interesting gear change here. They're gonna take the barrier blanket off Disposition and he gets gate number one. Number two, Proper Antis are gonna put him for third. He was just behind uh, disposition in that trial that was won by Lord Help Me Run, who I thought was the run of the race last week in that very slowly run three-year-old contest. And then you've got Great Shot, number one. He won the railway stakes over 1,600 metres last season. I just don't think 1,200 metres is anything like his right distance. He'll lead them up here for sure. I just fancy that uh, a few of them might be much better suited to the six furlongs, and I'm willing to leave him out of the trial. On top then, in race number four, we're going to go with number five, Enticing Star, to beat three Disposition, two Proper Antes and one Great Shot.